Today I'm going to be using a phase contrast microscope to evaluate the effectiveness and killing properties of Therosol mouth rinse. Uh, it, you can find that at Orotech's website. This plaque sample is at 400 power. You can see active spirochetes moving and twisting and tumbling as they're kind of doing their thing. I'm going to add Therosol on the right side of the screen and use a paper towel on the left side of the slide to wick the therosol across the slide and you can see that therosol is now moving in um, to the field of view <clears throat> and watch the spirochetes and the activity that you start to see it's pretty fast as far as how it works they're not nearly as active as they were uh, there's a couple of, of uh, spirochetes in there that are just kind of twisting and corkscrew turning very slowly at this point, and some of them aren't moving at all. And coming in from the right side of the field of view, you start seeing particulate matter and um, uh, bacteria that's no longer moving as it's kind of coming in into the field of view with Therosol, starting to see some spirochetes go by. And if you pay close attention, these guys are just um, being drawn up with the fluid as they move across the screen. They aren't actually propelling themselves. The spirochetes that are present are kind of having a bad day. They aren't moving nearly like they were at the beginning of the recording. Here comes another opportunity to see some spirochetes floating by. Again, they aren't moving at all. Uh, these guys do appear to be dead. They're just kind of drifting along in the fluid. More spirochetes coming into the field of view. None of them are moving. These are all dead. It looks like Therosol is very, very effective. Um, Nordquist has done some experiments where he's looked at um, silver colloidal salts that are 99.99% uh, effective in killing anything. He didn't find that to be true. Also, he looked at straight bleach, iodine, uh, oil pulling, uh, various other um, formulations that he tried, and uh, those can all be found on YouTube, but I have to say I'm really quite impressed by what I'm seeing here as these things just start to float by and um, they just look like corpses, which is a real testimony to Therosol because spirochetes are a pretty hardy bacteria and um, the, the plaque samples that we see in the mouth don't really respond well to systemic antibiotics. It's one of the questions I frequently get is, well, you could take antibiotics, but in a perio sense, um, you have to be able to get the antibiotic down in the sulcus where these guys live, and systemic antibiotics really don't accomplish that too well. I'm going to move the slide around a little bit and see if we can't find um, a pocket inside the plaque sample that's a little deeper and not so much on the outside of the plaque sample. More dead spirochetes floating by. Um, and, and the deeper and more isolated the pocket in the plaque sample, Therosol uh, wouldn't be able to um, penetrate. Uh, as quickly and as effectively, I would think. But if I can find um, a deeper pocket, we'll see if the behavior of the spirochetes are different in that area. I would expect them to be as lively as they were the first beginning of the recording here. A little bit of movement there at the upper right hand corner 
again, these floating by, are not propelling themselves. There's some epithelial tissue, epithelial cells. Uh, here's a pocket right here. So this, this is an area where the spirochetes are, they haven't been affected by the therosol yet. They're still propelling themselves. They're twisting and turning. They're kind of uh, ganging up on some uh, PMN cells here, some white blood cells, and attacking it kind of in the center of the field of view. So this is a neat little experiment evaluating the effectiveness of Therosol's ability to kill spirochetes, which I'm really interested in. This was one continuous shot using my face contrast microscope and my computer. Thank you for watching.